USPs, nothing else, some some grenades, a little bit of a kit there on Perfecto. Do have some P250, or at least one P250 on the T side on Rain. It's simple. He's playing without a silencer again. Will somebody stop him? It's his trademark. It can't be. That can't be his trademark. He, he actually spawns without a silencer. We saw it one time. How does... Does anyone know how that's done? I don't know how to do that. So... Okay. Simple always breaks the game. Electronic though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> one tap and he's out of there. He assassinated Brokey. That is actually such a shot. And the grenade on top. Another headshot coming in from Boomich. And it's just... It's like a grim start here for FaZe in the pistol round. Electronic. Another fadeaway shot. He just barely even shows himself. Simple. And for a minute I was thinking, oh no. Fair play. It's still pretty good, but um, yeah, I guess Electronic, especially that first one, that was the shot that we were looking for. That was cool. Second round is coming up, and without a bomb plant, they've they bought into this round. That just seems to be the model. We're not seeing many deviations from this kind of pattern early on when you lose the pistol on the T side. It looks a little strong to to reset the CTs. It's a little too strong to try to fight for this economy. Yeah. Because you know that they're buying all the way into this one. If you take them down here, that could be three rounds. The value is so high. Yeah. But we've got a bit to be coming about, and that means a bit will be challenged along with Perfecto. So some of the younger players. Oh, Perfecto comes up with one, but Rain sneaks on forward to take down Perfecto. And Bit, he's all in the sight by himself. He's already dispatched one player. No, Brokey doesn't take the shot. Finally is able to take him down. So it will be Twist and Brokey. And no, the retake's already starting. They haven't even planted the bomb yet, but Twist takes down Boomich. And now Simple Electronic, they're thinking about it. A fake tap comes out, but Electronic falls into the site. But Twist is able to wallbang him. Sim Dude, they did so much damage in the last round. They probably just want to continue that. Yeah, especially given the fact that it came down to a single player. But with no nades to set up phase, it will be a little bit difficult to scale on forward. But if Simple gives them the fight, they may welcome it. Simple takes down Kerrigan. And Electronic is there, his right-hand man. <laughs> that is just a problem that FaZe are going to have to try and deal with. Do you really want to take the fight to the A-bomb side and fight Simple and Electronic every single round? Doesn't seem like a, a brilliant idea. But then again, the Na'Vi that we saw yesterday with Perfecto and Bit playing out of this world. I, I mean, that's there's there's just no weak link anymore on this on this particular team. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, it is so hard to breach Na'Vi's defenses. And we saw Na'Vi before playing with it the way things are. AKs though on the side of Phase leading into the fourth round. Twist all the way outside of Long. Thought maybe he was gonna try and set up something more they're gonna go for the b-bomb side quick it's bit of perfecto inside of it and that's a nice smoke they're, they're running right into it but yeah perfecto has all of the advantage could have easily been more than the double kill that he got Brokey also a little bit low on health and through the window sneaking in simple keeping him occupied was gonna be a, a solid idea it's not like twist was looking down middle in t spawn to see how many people were crossing he was outside of long so it's like they didn't really seem to know anything Right. That they was went for it. Yeah, that was uh, a gamble call. That was just pushing without too much information, and they were rightly punished for that. This may be the last game on Dust Two, by the way, with the old, or the true kind of the old uh, middle. The the fact that they can actually fight all the way down. One last hurrah. Yeah. Okay. Well, they should take advantage. Try and get, try and get something done through that middle portion. They've been shooting some shots in there. Kerrigan is already down, sneaking out along. Boomich was hanging out there. Now they're just kind of... I mean, I don't know what else you're meant to do in a round like this if you're on the face side. Crawl around, look for headshots. Oh, well, like it, that. It worked. Okay, Olaf opens things up. And again, the Molotov does so much damage. Phaser forced on back. Rain should be able to communicate the fact that a couple players just rotated through CT. He has an opening onto this A site. It's a shame he doesn't have the bomb because that could be planted immediately. And it looks like FaZe will rotate because of that. This is a nice mid round from them. The question is really just, is Simple going to catch them as they try to make it? Oh, Simple's looking for it. Oh, oh. that's a nice shot from Rain. Long range to bring down Simple. Fighting Boomich out on Long. He actually wanted that fight and he nearly, nearly took down Boomich. One more hit and he would have been gone and it would have been a two on four or two on three maybe. Brokey going down, and now, I don't know, they get the bomb plant down in the last 10 seconds. 
I don't know if they could hold on to it. Scout is already a little bit low on health. Boomage, though. Actually, gotta be a bit careful, obviously. He's gonna be dying no matter what oh. here. Headshot, especially now. Low and already almost looked like a pre-fire there. For and it looks like FaZe will be looking for an early long pick. Brokey had the spawn. He's looking for something here. Does he find the timing? No. He's been evaded by Boomich. Yeah, what a shame. That would have been such a pleasant opening for FaZe, who are just still searching for, for that one opening round that they need. Perfecto and the B-bomb side alone. Bit playing mid. Leaned a little bit towards the A-bomb side. Always interesting when when you're playing B alone this much. But, um, yeah, Bit's going to be joining back up again, all right? He's not going to leave him for that long. And again, the simple electronic do-over at the A-bomb site. B-split right now would probably work if FaZe had a had a, an inkling of what was what was on the other side. Yeah, the question mark for them is where Boomich is playing. Boomich is playing pretty close towards CT, so he would be able to help out regardless. And it looks like not... Fays are going to send just rain out. Okay, the, the smoke stops him in his tracks, though. And Kerrigan's trying to find an angle. He knows that this is a possibility, that someone from Navi would be playing right there. But Boomich isn't giving it to him. No, he's really staying put. They're coming out long with the bomb against Simple, and he's got an AWP out there. They need some real good utility to make it past this point of the map. Boomich taken down, one kill on rain. Kerrigan... Gonna return that favor. Twist almost has the angle. Simple, he doesn't realize. Oh, and he flexes it anyway. Taking down. That's not bad at all. He actually got the kill on Twist. He might as well have been dead instantly. Two on three. Let's see if that makes a difference. The bomb being thrown over and they can't catch it. That's a nice toss. And that's gonna be a bomb plant with eight seconds on the clock. Yeah, and Kerrigan, he's here to defend Cat. Loses the duel against Bit and the retake is on now. There is potential for this. Brokey still holding on to that long position. He'll be able to play that for the rest of the round, but no, Navi actually decided to back off. Not enough utility, perhaps, in order to justify this one, and the money, it's good enough that if they save these... ...that he gets electronic right afterwards. Also, it didn't really matter in this particular instance, but in the two... ...of the competitiveness of this game, and it's fast down mid for a few of the phase players. Navi are playing a solo player towards B early on in this round. Of course, phase are unaware of that information, they're testing middle. Electronic finally makes his way over to B. But phase of loss of space towards long. They have to try to capture this cat position, and it looks like they'll do just that. It kind of, in the previous round, looked a little bit to me like Green actually wanted to set up the jump into CT spawn, but the, the smoke uh, stopped him a little bit. But they had both a smoke on the CT ramp and also up on catwalk, so that he could have maybe fallen down. This time, you know, could it get close either? Simple. Just playing that off angle. And able to bring him down. And now, Bit has been looking into those double doors at long, so they have a pretty good idea that no one's out there. This could be a more readable round for Navi if, um, if Boomich gets any inkling of how many or how few people are on Catwalk, they probably know that this is going to be a B hit. Yeah. Electronic is here as well. Perfecto has the angle. That's the first contact. That activates Electronic in the back of the site. The Molly doesn't catch him, but Brokey is keyed on to his angle. So this duel is massive, and Twist takes out Perfecto. Electronic still stands. He's just jumping around back there, and Twist takes him down too. Still, the man advantage remains with Na'Vi, and Brokey and Twist, they have to defend this if they want to get a second round on the board for FaZe. Have another smoke, but it's on Brokey, and it's kind of tricky for him to pull it out and try and throw it right now, because he could just jump at the wrong time. Flash to set it up, smoke, and yeah, that's going to give Brokey maybe a chance if he wanted to beat Molotov. He's going to put it out. That's what he was saving it for. Window, <laughs> twist, just getting shot in the back, and then I could have a chance here. Bit with a double kill. Simple. And now Navi are back on track. Their economy is actually not looking that great if you think about the, the six to one scoreline. It's not like Navi had that much to work with, which is interesting. They're taking a lot of casualties, despite the victories. The last round was a great example as to how much control and how much kind of information Navi can work with in a round can find. And they just are so comfortable with individual players finding a lot of information. In the previous round, Boomich and Simple both took turns at fighting for Catwalk. And this time around, Bit is once again just slotted right here at these double doors. 
And he's got Boomage behind him with a smoke in hand. So if Bit fails a shot or legs someone, they can just almost immediately block it out and make sure he doesn't get run down too quickly. Rain is taking some liberties in middle. He's going to be right in front as he puts up the smoke. Not going to immediately go on it. Boomage just taking some shots through there. The smoke for the actual box itself. They could actually go there for this right now. Electronic, if he doesn't get a kill and stays alive, this bomb site's going to fall and actually might be a second round phase. They are so close to getting the job done. He came running through, firing that AK straight down. And that's the round. <laughs> that is an impressive entry from Rain. I don't know if he counter strafed there. I, I, that looked like a completely running shot. But phase are going to take it. Take it as it is if you're a Navi there. Uh, that's a difficult entry to replicate for FaZe, although it was a good pinch in terms of their positioning. So we'll see if Na'Vi have any kind of adaptation to stop the mid to B. I really enjoy it when... when people do what Rangers did, not just running through the window, but going in through the mid doors and throwing a... other than the straight normal execute from the headshot box in the middle. Yeah, and of course, the risk is that he had to run through the double doors with a single yeah. flash, and it's not as clean of a clear, but it, it's something where the, the tempo shift can definitely be hard for the CTs to capture. Now, Simple, once again on Catwalk, Kerrigan should be aware of this. Simple's been playing here in a lot of the rounds, and he's already found a few frags, so we'll see if they molly him off the angle, flash it. Rain will throw that molly out. That should push Simple on back, and the flash too means that FaZe are in control of the catwalk. They've been here before and and failed to make it even further than this. It'd be interesting to see if they can find a way to negotiate that. They still throw that smoke down on the actual CT ramp. Let's see what they want to do here. Yeah, there's the jump down. That's what I thought they wanted to do earlier with Rain, and this time they actually do get through. That probably needed to be a kill. Now he's exposed. He's got his back turned as well. He still picks up the kill on Boomage. And simply can't see anything. Super flash to the moment. He's got his USP out. Oh, what a flick. A classic simply takes down Brokey on top of it. Jumping up, trying to get the jumping shot onto Twist up there. He's going to be taking down all of my The third kill of the round for him. And Twist is up there. Low on health already. He's scoped up and not afraid. Like panic firing his USP. And you think, all right, well, he's probably lost control of this situation. Like, that's it. He's really, he's gone all in. And <laughs> he regains all the composure, though. In one second, yes. he's like, whoop, I'm back. Yeah. Oh, man, it's such a joy to watch. Always. And even the last one, where he tried to jump and kill Twist, you think he could probably have done that. Like, it just fe it feels like nothing's really impossible. Boomage, uh, I don't know, what is the opposite of, of trying to be subtle out here? He's just advertising his own presence on the other side of the doors. I don't know about that. I feel like that's very risky. Definitely. It's just a characteristic of Boomage. You always see that. It always... If a player sneaks up on him sometimes, he, it looks really silly, but then if you're on the other side and he's doing that to you, you're, you're thinking, why can't we get this guy? Why, why is this guy able to taunt us as such? So. And it may even feel like it's a setup, right? It's like, wait, yeah. we can't really go fight him because... Simple was right there. Yeah. Oh, oh and the walkout mid to B is not working out for FaZe. They do take down Bit, which simply leaves Perfecto in the site, but with two players remaining and the bomb exposed in middle, this is a very tough retrieval mission for FaZe. Relocate for Perfecto. Every time he fires the gun, he's trying to find a new angle, and he swings for the fight in the end. Then, then he actually does, which is crazy. I think his aim is obviously remarkable, but but his decision making. I mean, that's normally the thing that takes such a long time to to hone as a player and get really good at. He's fast tracked his way there, and I don't even know how. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm a fan of it. I don't. I mean, I don't think I don't know who else I would put it on anyway. Right. I would never take the rifle away from Electronic. <laughs> no, no. That That is a... You, you need that one. But yeah, I, I have to agree. Bit has been excellent for Navi. This round, though, Rain gets the better of him. Brokey might have an angle. Simple misses the shot. This gives Brokey an opportunity, and he seizes it. Nice shot. Deedle Krill kills across the map, and Brokey's still going for the challenge against Boomich there. He could be comfortable with the space that he has, but he wanted a little more. And the tag onto Boomich means that Boomich really has to consider his options. With just three HP, this retake might be out of the question for Navi. They're in position to find some space towards CT spawn, but they don't have a lot of cash either, right? No, no. They don't want to do it. That's, that's just a, a weird round. 
hard to even say much about it. You just you get two deco headshots like that. And and it's enough to build something behind. Rain eventually goes down. Now they're getting a couple of kills, but it's just it's too late. They've already kind of conceded it. Wait. No, they can't. Alright. I was getting real scared there. Electronic. Four kills. They they take everyone down without losing another player. In itself is kind of remarkable. That, that has to be part of their train of thought. But yeah, that's just one of those dust two rounds. It's why it's why it's still just a map for aimers at times. Uh, just, there's nothing you can really do about that other than hit your shot faster than they hit theirs. I mean, we we've seen Rain. Obviously, he had that clip on dust two towards the pit yesterday. Um, that was that was crazy. Mm -hmm. Explosive players still can do some damage on the death matchers map. Double AWP on the CT side once again, thanks to saving one of the bit is playing all the way forward, but not really pushing around the corner. Still very hard if you're coming in from the T side to actually see that coming. Could just be walking into it. He's not feeling anyone. He hasn't heard anything. If he takes a look around the corner, he's going to reveal most of the game plan here for phase. Nice nade on top. They're kind of committed to this, it feels like. Yeah, they're going for it. Electronics on the site, though, and he's been so strong from this position. And with Simple at Goose, this is a strong defense, but Olaf immediately takes down Electronic. Simple finds a second, and now it's all Boomage at the ramp. But Twist pushes through the smoke, takes his head off, and we're in a two-on-two -two post plant. That's a good setup. Nade goes a little bit too far. Olaf and Twist, it, it's, an, it's unfortunate that they're both stuck where they are. It would be so cool if they could spread out just a bit more. Because it could get uncomfortable here. He's looking for it. See if he gets caught. Just the hand. Molotov goes into the corner. <laughs> oh. Twist there to save him. That's a really nice little peek there. And now oh, oh. he goes down anyway. Perfecto with the deagle. He actually they have so many good players on Navi, but it, it is a joy to watch right now. We've got scouts instead of orps on the T side for phase. Oh, nice shot. Again, the deagles. Just keep buying them. Don't just ignore everything else. I feel like phase are doing better with deagles right now. Yeah. You can change the players on phase, but you can't take the deagles out of phase. That's true. They've been. That's what they're used to. They're grinding them. Mm -hmm. Well, boomage down means that simple has to hold towards long. So electronics are on a bit of an island at the A site right now. There'll be a little bit of support utility coming out from Simple, but he always has to worry about if there is that late long flank. And given how FaZe have been playing, it feels like there should be. But Electronic, he's able to take down one. Does he know the players are this close though? No, he doesn't. Gets caught off guard. Kerrigan is able to take him down. That's going to be the bomb site in control of the T side. Wow, I think that's, that's a huge lack of information. They threw that same smoke towards the, t the CT ramp. But there was no one in the middle for Navi to call it out. So I don't think Electronic even knew. No one could hit a jump down. No one saw that the smoke was there. So he had no way of actually knowing that. Twist ready to take the fight. He does a lot of damage to Simple, who's down there with the FAMAS in hand. And probably should be a little bit worried here. Nice headshot. Carrigan with a double kill. Pete, this kind of success. They would love to get the last two, but... With many of these entries just being flat-out deagle kills, it, it's hard to know what's working in the macro for them. But they have broken Navi's economy. Yeah. And now we forced into this round. So actually, if they win this one, they might actually get the, the next one. They might make it 9-6. It's definitely doable. Boomage playing close up here with the deagle. Something that we're probably going to see maybe less in the new patch. Just because of how the body shots work, I expect you wouldn't want to play like this. He actually wins that fight. What, running and gunning? Simple with a headshot to take down Rain. They will bring it back, but Electronic is still down here. You want to be really careful. He has the 5-7, though. So not the same instant stopping power, unless they get a little bit closer, and then it could still do a lot of damage. A minute on the clock. Oh. They're going to wait for the boost. They're going to try and see if they can get it done. Not going to happen. Electronic is down. Boomich crawling in. FaZe are um, recovering this round nicely. Not going to get the better of Kerrigan as the smoke fades. And this round looked possible for Na'Vi. Yeah. They were in a good position, but as soon as Electronic died at the base of the A platform, it was, it was difficult for Boomish to find anything on his own. 
And it, it looked like they were trying to find a timing as FaZe was making their way up to the bomb site that they could cross, and it, it was good. It's just they didn't commit to the ramp. They, they wanted to somehow assemble a boost, and it feels like that put them in a, in a poor position for just a split second, and that's all FaZe needed. This round was always going to be FaZe favored, but down double digits to Na'Vi. It's a, it's a heavy long presence for Na'Vi early on. We're getting FaZe routing themselves towards middle. Rain is thinking about this smoke. The flash through gets him there. And now they have control once again. They could go for that fast mid to B as Rain throws his own smoke. And they're, they're posturing as such, but there's no commitment yet. Yeah, they're expecting a reaction right here out of Na'Vi. And that could, I mean, it, just as well as this was a bit of a long stack for Na'Vi, it could have been something like middle. Three people middle with the Eagles fighting it out. And FaZe just wanted to see if there was a reaction. And they have enough grenades to set up the exact same needs towards CT spawn once again. So maybe they will. Pit is on his own. He will have to do so well. He knows they're walking up behind him now. He's turned back, trying to fight it with the Deagle. There's one good headshot. Can he get... Oh! oh. He actually got the kill on Twist. A little bit of help from Boomage. Oh. Aragon flashed, and they just... Did you not see him? Oh, I, I guess not. That That's so unfortunate for Boomage. Now, Kerrigan taking a deagle shot to the head of Simple. Does he really find the time to reload? No. Electronic takes him down, and it's a two on two. But Olaf, he's thinking about peeking, but it's actually Brokey that finds the first. Barely through the smoke there. And now it's a one on one. Electronic, he has a chance to find a tenth for Navi. Throws the flash. Looks for the swing, but Brokey. Gonna head into the game. It's nine to six in favor of Navi in the first half. Second half is coming up. Phase and on the CT side, Navi on the T side, and they are actually running up middle. They are going on an all out battle against Navi, taking the fight to them, practically in the T spawn. Rain leading the charge with the USP, although now they're swinging back. They're coming back for the fight. They've taken it up on him, and now Electronic is going to be getting that kill on Rain, and the rest of FaZe are fleeing. They're running away from the fight that they themselves started. They peeled off completely. They're all stuck around middle now. Was that and just an elaborate troll on Rain? Yeah, that's just... Rain, go. Oh, how'd you get up there? Okay, everybody, fall back. Brokey has fallen back to long, and he's finding the contest. There are a few T's that he is facing off against. Electronica first. Brokey takes one down. Bit does find the trade. And now Simple, it's his turn. He's swinging off Catwalk. Kerrigan is ready to challenge him. Th those are a lot of peaks coming out from Kerrigan, but he's welcoming the fight. And we can see that many of the phase players have rotated on in to A, and they're controlling it. Navi back on off. They recognize that the remaining players from phase were there and that there is a rotation to be made. Yeah, perfect on the middle. Smoke goes up and actually challenging it. Kerrigan running past. He wants to catch the bomb. Kerrigan has read that as Boomich is on one health. Kerrigan is actually such a next level player. He knew all of this was coming. That's why he ignored them in the middle, but he has to find the kill before time runs out and he can't. Long for him to get. Actually, it was Boomich who was in the site. Yeah, true, true. Some scouts fighting it out in the middle, but none of them actually doing enough damage for it to really be interesting. Boomich is taking care of lower and upper dark. Always on the run with the Mac 10. Kerrigan thinking about doing something on the other side, but he's going to fall back himself. Rain now, perhaps the most interesting player on the map with the Deagle out in middle. I mean, if he's look, they actually have very little map control right now, Navi, which doesn't have to be the end of the world because they have the better, the better firepower. But sometimes you can get stuck down here on long if you just give up everything else. Yeah, definitely a possibility. See how FaZe wants to contest. Oh, Brokey swings into every player from Na'Vi, practically. The damage. Yeah, does find a lot of damage. So there are players low for Na'Vi, and Rain is here with a Deagle. If he finds a few body shots, this, this is so possible. And there are a couple. Takes down Electronic. Na'Vi are pressing on forward, but Rain is here at Goose, ready to fight. Na'Vi are biding their time, though. They're waiting for the smoke to fade so Simple can see over, and that's what they needed. Simple takes down Rain in the face. But do they know about Olaf too? Or does it even matter? Because Boomich is on the flank, but Olaf dispatches him. He takes him down. And now Perfecto finds Olaf. They also had no grenades. So they, they I mean otherwise maybe they would have flashed their way to take the fight early on, but then they just waited for the smoke, like you said, and it actually worked. I'm kind of a little bit surprised. Twist one versus three. Two of them are a single bullet away, so if you found the right targets, well, that's the 100% health player in Perfecto. Instantly down, a attempted jump. 
Doesn't want to do it again. Tries to use the smoke for coverage. Oh, that actually must have been close. I'd love to see a close-up of that bullet. He runs for it. He takes him down. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one out in the open. Simple oh. is going to be dropped. And that is inspiring for FaZe. That should get them... That should get them real fired up. But you could tell. I think it was Brokey standing up. He was so excited. <laughs> he got out of his chair. Lovely. Well, Pistol's back on the side of Navi. Scoreline is 10 to 7. And weirdly, that just seems so much more manageable than 9-6. Than I don't... I can't even explain why. But it just feels like, all right, now it's totally doable. There's something about the numbers. <laughs> just seem to fit a little better. Navi don't have too much to work with in this round. So, phase And... It Bring the scoreline even closer, unless, unless Simple does that. What? What is he doing? What's happening? Why is he just a Terminator walking in, shooting people? Yeah. He's saying whatever FaZe can do, he's going to do it better. It, it, it's the way, he just made it look so casual. Like he was just... Just walked into the angles. Just on, on a stroll. Bit is creeping back, and with the AK going to be taking a kill, and also hired one way or the other. He was going to die. Rain. It was perfecto from lower dark that ended up killing him. And it's simple. Man, that is an, just such a sick round from Simple. As hype as you must have been behind that twist, you know, victory in the one versus three, that must be so deflating. It's like he just takes it away from you. Just absolutely stolen. Electronic off. He's going to find all of mice that are trying to sneak in and could go and secure the B bomb site if he was feeling really brave about it. That'd be a, a big risk to take. It'd be a successful one, but yeah, there's just no way for him to know that that B site is empty right now. FaZe are pretty lucky, given the fact that they didn't commit to that. But we might see a bit of a duel here. Kerrigan versus Simple. Scout v. Scout. Kerrigan gets the better of Simple. Nice equalizer. Oh, and Kerrigan gets another onto bit. Okay, this is suddenly doable for FaZe. And it's off the back of Kerrigan. He's looking to continue, but Boomich finally puts an end to his shenanigans. Yeah, a bit of a wide swing there. Electronic is also still in play with the AK-47, and he's had himself a very good Dust 2 game so far. Boomich missing a bit of an opportunity, maybe. There is a gap in the smoke that they're going to be worried about. Boomich actually spotting for it. You could tell as he crossed, he wanted to make sure no one was there. Rain with a kill on Boomich. Good headshot. More to follow. Oh, Rain with a double. And it leaves Perfecto low on health here in a one versus two. And they're just going to double peek him. They have a lot to work with. They have an off on Perfecto, despite the loss. That is a little bit of a shocker. And it might be to the surprise of FaZe. But no, it actually rings out. So FaZe are aware of this potential sniper. But we'll see if that actually impacts how they play out their defense. A yeah, good thing that they didn't run into it, at least. Uh, Kerrigan, I think it was out there. Just doing the due diligence, smoking over or flashing over, making sure that he didn't just run and made the assumption because bad things happen when you start doing that. It would have been costly. Navi going for a more standard approach, finding cat control early on. There's no true contest from FaZe. Yeah, it's a battle for space in a few different directions, but now that Navi have Cat, they have a couple of options. They still have four smokes to work with, so they could run a variety of fakes or plays out of this. Certainly gravitating the bomb towards this side of the map, and I don't know about this, Alex. They're really far away on the A side. They're not anywhere near the middle. This is a bit... A little bit concerning. Smokes are already up, and they're going to go for it. It's down to Twist and Olofmeister to try and hold on to the B bomb side. Everyone is coming for them. 35 seconds left, and Twist, he's going to go down. Bit with the one entry. Olof on his own. Pretty good spray. He turns back, and he nearly drops Simple. If he would have got that kill, it would have made all the difference in the world. And <laughs> oh. Oh. Yo, It's horrifying. Just gets away with it, too. Rain was right on the other side. Yeah. Great mid to be though coming out. Olaf did his absolute best to try to quell that, but not going to happen. Now, FaZe, they're opting for the save at this point. And Navi, once again, win the alternating rounds. It's been five rounds consecutive that no team can find two in a row. Wow. If I'm Kerrigan and I'm, he was airborne, he never even touched the ground, run down by the tech line. That's a bit of a heart, uh, heart attack moment. It's just so funny to see Boomich in some of these lurk positions because he's not like your typical lurker that just gets the sly kill and then sneaks off. He just straight up realizes there's an opportunity. He runs at the player and then just runs away. Yeah. 
kept <laughs> it just escapes. Oh, that's frustrating. So the the trading continues. So far in the first five rounds of this sec. Does that give gives the, does that get the Navi, the the Maui seal of approval here? That's right. curious. I mean, oh, but they don't get simple. They've, they've kind of given up the chase already, in that they have peaked him. They're probably still going to look for the fights. I, I mean, it's it's always exciting to see this many scouts, but once that bomb site hit comes out, and if if Navi takes space cleanly, it's very hard to get those scouts activated. So, this would be an opportunity. Boomage just crouching all the way out long right now. Doesn't even have a smoke or. All too much to support him. And FaZe, they've keyed it onto his angle. They're not looking! Okay, the first kill goes the way of Boomish. Rain finds the return on the site. Now Bit is by himself. He doesn't want to give up anything for free. That's a very wise maneuver from Bit to get away there. And now FaZe might want to retake the space, but Simple is playing for the punish. Yeah, sticking around down there. And this might finally be a follow-up round for Na'Vi here, even after they've been letting go of a few of them. I don't know about this two-on-four. Simple and Electronic are a bit tagged up, but they're also playing it really well at the moment. Navi trying to get that long control. Rain is about to get shot in the back. Perfecto. Just a better weapon for it. And Kerrigan, I don't know. Solo scout. Three scouts. Maybe, maybe that wasn't the problem. I don't know. Oh, nice shot. Kerrigan able to bring down Simple. Seems like Kerrigan has only had Simple's number. It has been... Listen, if you have to find, that might be enough, actually. The one you counter. You can just kill simple every time, it's probably fine. <laughs> You're, you, can, you can always kill the best player in the world, but everybody else becomes difficult. So, weird superpower? Yeah, yeah. It's not that Kerrigan's doing badly, though. He's on 14-17. But this was a, a tough round for FaZe to put together, and just poor timing from Twist. He, he turns back for just a split second. Not that he necessarily was going to find the shot anyways, but it just does not work in his favor. And had he been scoped up on long, may maybe there's a chance for phase. But they seem caught off guard by just... Yeah, but... Oh man, they're, they're facing. They didn't even use Kerrigan's smoke to get across. They, they actually just went across dry there. Surprising to test simple. That's not something you want to do every single day. Especially given that this gap is still available to simple. We might see the last kill ever through these doors. That's true. Last kill on record. Could be happening. Maybe we could build a little... Little placard, little statue somewhere. Just to ride it into history. Just commemorating it. Exactly. But all of the advantage in this round goes to Navi. They are close to getting that 14th round. Twist has got a Zeus in hand. Otherwise, it's maybe the Deagle and the Scout. Oh, that's a fair bit of damage. That's just blind spray. Yeah. I don't know how he did that much. He definitely only knew about one of those players. And yet he tagged up three. Kerrigan is doing some serious work with the scout. It's been impressive to watch him use this gun. And Olaf what? What? takes such a risk there, just runs up mid. He could have gone for the long flank, but no, actually, the pistols of FaZe take down Navi on the cross. They didn't smoke the cross. They wanted the challenge, but Bit, oh, he's got the flank, goes for the spray though, and the return ah, is there for Karen. Sonic 2. 23rd round, and we do have still a buy on Navi. I guess that's the only upside here, at least. At least they're not dead broke, so they can still try and take the fight. But if they lose this round, I mean, the gap is going to close so quickly between these two teams. And it's a very, very standard setup here for Na'Vi. Yeah, it, it's a pivotal round for both. The, the money is just not good in either direction. And whoever takes this has a chance to either close the distance or run away with the game. And now we'll see that Na'Vi, they employ their standard cat control. Simple, trying to find anybody who may dare to test him at mid. But Rain thinks better of that. Backs on up. And Navi, th once again, they have this cat space, but they only have a couple of smokes. So whatever they decide to throw those nades for, it, it's probably going to be their final destination. Classic movie as well. Twist looking into the middle from the B-bomb site. He is the only one that's really sort of the... To use the dam between them and all of mine. Stoops inside. Oh, and the timing is not good for him. He's flashed as well. Bit will take him down. Perfect with the kill on Kerrigan. All of Meister. The, the bomb's on the other side, though. Actually, Brokey is also on his own. I don't even think FaZe know where this attack is happening. They're so confused. All of might be calling for backup. Brokey is walking into the shot against Simple. Navi just I mean, completely dismantling this this FaZe defense. The, 
it, this is such a Navi-ish round where you're just moving in multiple positions at the same time, and it catches the defense off guard. And Rain and Olaf, they're, they're tasked with trying to put this together. I, th this doesn't look possible, though. They, they probably have to back off of this. Yeah, it does not look like Rain is interested anymore. So he and Olaf will save these into the upcoming round. They threw a mid to B. They found the kill on the mid to B. At the same time, there was a kill at long. Good news of phase. The map that they picked. Simple. Down the middle. Oh, he almost had it. Looked like he knew as well. Oh, he's ready for it. Second map would be Mirage. Yeah, Rain has taken a lot of space. This might find the opening for phase. And he is able to get bit. That's a nice kill. Can he peel off though? Yes. Perfecto doesn't challenge the angle. And phase that might be the breathing room that they need in this round. They, they have been hamstrung in many of these due to the opening pick not going their way. But this time they can set up and know that the numbers for Navi are in phase's favor. Simple out here. No one wants to challenge him. Do you think that's an individual call for Rain? Does he just say, I'm going to do this? Yeah. Yeah. That's... I'm feeling it. It's just a classic rifle push off the catwalk, and it finds the timing. Wallafmeister is actually feeling a bit lonesome out here. Now he's by the car, which kind of hard to clear out without at least losing one player, and that's the bomb committed to the bomb site. 40 seconds on the clock and everyone's coming in. Brokey on the flank as well. Simple's really far away. I don't know if he was expecting someone to peek, but it's going to be way too late now. 30 seconds and he should probably just try and keep this AWP alive. Maybe look for some, some more kills in terms of making it expensive. That's certainly very annoying, but FaZe have found a 10th round. Yeah, Olaf did an excellent job there at the car. Just a, a solid angle. It's almost always good for at least one. Usually it helps activate the player at the back of the side, but even though Olaf was by himself, he was able to get two. Now, obviously we're talking about Rain and he's, he's such a phenomenal- Perk. I'm happy for him. All right, that's fair. That makes sense. Kind of close on that one. Harrigan. Throwing the Molotov, trying to dodge flashbangs if there were any. We've got that one AWP on simple. It's it's just one rifle. So why is it making me so nervous? It's simple that's holding it. I just you get the feeling sometimes in the back of your mind that he could just he could just get it done. Even if he shouldn't. Yeah. And Olaf again is just on B by himself. This is this is where it's scary. Where Simple can just find the single entry, take over the bomb site. And Olaf is gonna have to play well here. He's gonna have to try to dodge a shot from one of the premier, the best snipers in the world. He has a smoke grenade, but again, that doesn't really matter if he's dead, so waiting for it. Perfecto takes a bit of a peek on this. The flick simple takes him down. You painted the picture for us, Maui, and that's how it turned out. Now they have a little bit of an issue because they have to get close. He's got the bomb site. The bomb is making its way in on bit right behind him. They're going to be smoking it off, and FaZe aren't even moving. That's it. That one rifle and one kill. That's why you were nervous, Anders. This this always was a possibility. And the setup from FaZe 2, it, it just almost, in a way, invites this. It, it says that, Olaf, we trust you so much in this position to not die. And you, he does really have one job, but it's it's just so hard to play for info safely on the B site. There's only so many options you have, uh, unless he's going to play the car position again and try to go for a multi-frag. There, there's really not too much else for him. And so, yeah, simple. He just gets that clean entry, and the round is done. What a wild way to win a round. And just slightly led, I think Perfecto was in front of him just to take a shot, you know, maybe even call out the position. It's hard to know for us, but kinds of positions, simply not. And so, FaZe already change up their defense. They send Twist on over to B to assist Olaf in what may be the final play of the round. A B hit looks to be shaping up. Yeah, Boomich looking around middle. Let's see how quick they go. Flash is so good. They're blind inside of the bomb site. They can't see anything. Olaf, he has to come up big with a spray down, but the smoke is on top, and he can't see anything around him. Perfecto's gonna be finding him in through the window. It's Rain, he tried to get in there, but he's gonna get shut down. Big triple for Perfecto. He took down the entire B bomb site. At least the flank of Boomich is gone, but I'm not sure that's helping them right now. 
Kerrigan and Brokey, 2% chance. I actually think that's not even far from the mark. I have no idea how you would ever win this retake. Brokey's down and out. And Kerrigan, there's nothing to do here. Now V, I don't know, a little bit shaky at the beginning of the second half, but now they've got control back.